Hello. Hi. I'm so excited. I just filmed this look. It's a very down day. I've gotten a little bit of a late start. My allergies are flaring. It has snowed two to three inches outside. And one thing on my list I need to do is clean up my office. And part of that is cleaning up my purse. So I have wanted to film this and I'm just going to sit down and film it because I'm in the mood. Do you know what I mean? So I recently got a new bag. This was 50% off right after Christmas from Kate Spade. It's, it's looking it's looking more gray, which is so odd because the rest of the colors are very true. It has more tan. It's kind of like a grayish, if you will. And I love, it is more gray than tan, but it's not quite as cool as it's showing on camera. And I love that kind of color because it goes with everything. It's like a true neutral. So that all to say, <laughs> we're going to be filming what's in my bag as I organize my bag because that is part of cleaning my office and we're throwing it back old school style I was obsessed with these videos mine is not going to be pre-planned or satisfying like there's a lot of stuff in here and there's actually two bags because we went to the museum this weekend and so I put my kind of essentials into the smaller bag and I need to get those out switch back to my big bag and make sure that what's in here is truly serving me because I have not had a bag this large in so long, but I was using quite a small bag and it just wasn't, one, it was hard to get into and two, it wasn't serving its purpose. This one has a zippered compartment and we'll get into all of that, but it has two open things. It's just been a much better fit. So I'll try not to ramble, but it's going to be rambly. That's just the vibe. And let's jump in. Okay, so let's actually start with the bag that I took to the museum. It is this Athleta belt bag, which I know that Lululemon is all the rage, but for a nylon bag, I'm not paying almost $100. For a neoprene bag, and it was on sale over 30% off, I'll pay what I paid for this bag. And I love it. It's magnetic, so it has two magnets there. It also has this wristlet that you can take off and use as a keychain even, which I love that. And also this is in rustic beige, which is a color from Athleta that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And then it has a zippered compartment on the front. And even like the hardware on this, like I'm actually really impressed with this bag. Obviously I haven't taken the plastic off because I get nervous about that. I don't know. I like things to stay pristine. But what I took to the museum with me was my Fit Glow Night Serum, which yes, I always keep one of these in my bag. And this one's actually getting quite low. Like to the point where, did I already pop the, I did, I already popped the stopper out and I'm scraping. So those usually do go in my purse bag because I need the big full one either at my desk or my nightstand. I also have my Desi, Sunglasses, these are the fallbacks. These are my very favorite sunglasses. I think they're 80, around $80, 85 maybe, but that's the most I'll spend on sunglasses. And I just love these. They have a really cute gold detail on the side and like the gold studs here. The shape and size is perfect. If you have a larger head, like moi, I have these in the black and the tortoise, but the black gets so much use. The reason I won't spend more on sunglasses, no matter how cute they are, is I'm very rough on them. As you can see, I did not have these in the desk cloth, which I have been trying to be better about, but I'm just not good at it. Also have the Live Tinted. This is in the shade Proud. This is almost empty, and I love this so much, and it was the color that I wore that day. Also very moisturizing. Then I have Blink eye drops for dry contacts. I like to take these wherever I go. Never know when you might need a little extra moisture in the eyes. And then I have my, what brand is this? Alika Life. This is a hand sanitizer. I honestly didn't use this until the museum. I got this for Christmas. 
And this one actually doesn't smell bad. These are honestly so very similar scent wise. Actually, this smells like straight up perfume. Like more sophisticated than Bath and Body Works. What scent is this? It doesn't say, I will pop it on screen. But I like ones that have a keychain. This is a little too big for me to like put on my keys, but you can always strap it to like a strap on your purse or something. I really like it. Definitely smells sophisticated and I'm shocked because it's in a bird shape. Do you know what I mean? Like so odd. I'm not married to a specific hand sanitizer. We're gonna get into that in a minute. But that was all I had in my bag. I did have my wallet, but I've since used that and popped it back in my bag. So we'll get into that. And now we're into the big guy. So I need to clean this out and reorganize it. And we're gonna do that together. So the first thing I'm gonna grab because it's really big is this bag this is from the target dollar spot it's nothing fancy you know it's just i like it because you can kind of see what's in it but it's the shape and the size for me and i use this traveling i this is not something that i would keep in my purse all of the time but we will go through it just don't judge me i have a small makeup eraser just in case i ever get into a situation where i just i need to take my makeup off or clean it up I have a pair of no-show underwear. You just, especially traveling and flying, I highly recommend. This bag is just always ready for situations like that. I have my Noon Sport Hydration that has, I got a hair stuck on my Band-Aid. Noon Sport Hydration. I talk about these in my chronic pain video. I just, I always have some of those on there. We've got a cocktail flight from Castle and Key when we were in Louisville. Like I said, this is a very like, and a, a tag that is garbage but i do take this with me when i travel we've got fragrance free wet ones for sanitizing i've got the body glide foot glide anti-blister balm i love having this on hand if we're doing a lot of walking traveling that type of thing this stuff is amazing i used to use the band-aid brand this was a little bit cheaper for more product on amazon and it just looks like deodorant. You rub it on and it just kind of puts a protective balmy layer on, but it really does work. I, I do really like this. Obviously, if your foot is getting like a cut, this is not enough. But for where your shoes just starting to irritate you, it's perfect. Then I have my trusty dusty hand screen, which I love to carry. I love to have it in my purse as well because... I get my nails done and I like UV protection from the lamps. Then I have some real organic cotton feminine wipe, which I, I love this brand. These are not flushable. So it's just kind of like a body cleanup, which I really like. This one I got for free as a sample, minimalish, and I think it's from American Eagle, but I do like having kind of like body wipes in the event. You just never know. And then a glass, glasses cleaner wipe and a real heating patch. These are, these are a game changer. A lot of brands make these. I know Cora makes some, you can get them on Amazon, but I love real as kind of like a feminine product or like menstrual product company. They just, they do a good job. And then I have a new face prep and glow cleanse exfoliate hydrate. I actually really love these makeup wipes and I have not bought a pack in a long time, but I really like these. They, they're just good. Then I have a silicone straw, which I don't know why I don't use this as much as I should. And what it, maybe that's why it's clean right now, but also I guess you just run them under like a what do they call it water fountain or something let me know how you handle that but i do love that it's in this little tin i got this as a gift i do keep it i just don't typically ask for straws like i'll just drink out of a cup you know then this one actually needs to go out into my big bag this is boogie wipes hand sanitizer the, these are the best if you need it to be very compact i got the unscented it's just it's a, a trustworthy one i guess if i had to choose it would go with this this was just like a fun little gift, you know? Can't get over how that smells. 
And then there's only two more things in here. I have the AF94 scribble stick, which honestly I've been looking for this and I've used so much of this. It's This is the shade Keeping Secrets. Yeah, it's the nude Keeping Secrets shade. This is the only one that I would endorse color-wise unless you get another nude. The deeper colors are just harder to control, but these are beautiful glossy lips. I really love that. And then last in this bag is so exciting. So I do try to cut back on single-use items, packaging, all of that. I'm not perfect. I don't strive for perfection in that. I don't believe that it's truly up to just the consumers to fix that problem. But regardless, I love the convenience of these feminine wipes, especially at dealing with PCOS and all of that. I just love, honestly, I just love like feminine and butt wipes. You know what I mean? Feminine wipes seems like maybe we shouldn't be calling them that, but I digress. I just like wipes, okay? I like, you know I'm a hygiene girl and I like to feel super clean. This was an Instagram brand and I'm just now trying this out, so I'll keep you posted, but it's called Fresh Peaches and look how cute. It's like a soft touch matte squeezy tube. I got three of these, so I have one in the bathroom, one in my purse, and then one kind of waiting in the wings. It is essentially what is on this wipe, but in this tube, so you can use it with just regular toilet paper, and it is formulated for that, so it's not going to like disintegrate right away type of thing. What is crazy and what I love so, not crazy, what I love so much about this is one, you're getting rid of single use packaging and you just have to carry this around and it's very small. The other thing that I love is that when I travel, I usually don't take individuals like this. This is kind of like an emergency bag that I'll keep like in my carry on or something. But when I pack and I want to have more than like one or two of these i'll pack the bigger packets i'll pop one on the screen this eliminates that and it's so compact and amazing especially to keep in your bathroom it's just like a little guy doop and i think that you can do refills i just yeah i'll let you know but i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it there's like a little peach guy on there so cute dying anyway yes so we're gonna have to like rejudge this because some of those things I want to keep in my purse, but I don't think that that big thing serves its purpose. I've got a Walmart receipt, it's garbage. A gum wrapper, this was Airhead gum and it tasted just like an Airhead and it was delicious. I've got a protein drink wrapper, garbage. Yes, I haven't even had this purse long and then these things, which probably were protecting tags or something in this purse. Okay, let's do this zippered compartment really quick and just see what's in there. Nothing, so that's great. Then the last thing that's not in the right part of this bag, so we just cleared out this side and then we have the zipper and then this, so I'm gonna throw this in the zipper and we'll talk about it when we get there. In the other side, this is where I've collected the most random things. Is this fun for you? I love this. We're gonna organize this bag together. Okay, actually, let's start with these. I went to see Hairspray with Nina West and this is the bill play, play bill, and my ticket. And I need to take these out, but I'm going to save these because that was such a good show. So good. If you have the chance to see that with Nina West, absolutely go. She wasn't even the only person that I loved. Oh my gosh, there were so many good performers in that play. It was it was wild. We walked out of there in such a good mood. I have these Sheets gift cards. If you live in a Sheets area, you know. If you know, you know type thing. These are the back, but it says that I need to keep... No, it says discard the back piece. Okay, garbage. Another receipt another receipt and then I have these coupons for Pavoy which is an Amazon jewelry brand they're actually the brand of earrings that I have on and ring I actually really like this brand they're super affordable for gold plated jewelry I've had a couple of pieces for going on two years now and 
I just don't see the need in paying a lot of money for a type of gold that is eventually going to wear off anyway. You know, we'll do a whole jewelry video. I have instructions for my desk sweeper. TikTok got me on that one. The cap to that protein, we'll never know what happened to the rest of it. This is that gum. I've got gum. So I've got Orbit Strawberry, delicious. Then I've got Airheads gum. Who's the brand? It's just Airheads. This was delicious. This was delicious. I always have gum. I was always that girl in high school that had gum too. True, true story. Next we have the Dove Hand Sanitizer Deep Moisture. <sighs> you guys, I was so excited about this. This was only a couple of dollars at Walmart and I, this is going in a fails. We'll keep it short and sweet. This is going in a fails. I, I can't handle it. I will say that these two don't, this one so far, this, what is it? Olika Life, this doesn't dry my hands out so far. Boogie Wipes I trust all day. I'm like a quarter of the way through this one. I've gone through two others. You can buy a multi-pack of these. They're very affordable. These don't dry your hands out. This we'll get into in a fails video, but it's not going back in my purse. I can tell you that. Fenty Fruit Snacks, if you know, you know. This is my favorite red color. I wore this to a birthday party recently, and it's time to put her back where I can choose her again, you know? And then I have the Treat Beauty Cherry Cola. This is a fabulous flavor. It's so good. And I do like keeping this on hand next to Fit Glow because this is very lip masky. And my husband, I don't know if your significant other is like this, will like randomly ask me for chapstick. So I like to have kind of a more traditional balm. But also there are some times where I need a more traditional balm. And these, these are actually incredibly hydrating. It's got coconut oil, beeswax flavor, cocoa butter, shea butter, and stevia in a preservative mixed to cope for alls, which I think is vitamin E. Very, very hydrating. I love the cherry cola. Legit smells like a cherry cola. And there's so much product in this. I just, I love it. Also, this is going to add a little bit of gloss to your lips. This is kind of like a traditional, not matte, because it's not matte, but a traditional lip balm. Then I have my key, my little Toyota key, because it fell off my key ring and I need to fix that. I've got some jewelry. So I've got my Nora Brannock inspired ring, which was from a different Amazon brand, but I will link this down below. I actually do really like this. It does not leave green even when you leave it on to wash your hands with that's why i like pavoy so much it doesn't turn green but eventually i know that that's going to wear the coating off which is why i just can't invest into gold plated pieces then i have my pvd gold which is the same company that i have on this ring finger not the same is it the same company no this is neve and this is Ellie Vale, but this is my Libra necklace that I wore the other day. I love it. And this is like everything resistant because it is essentially stainless steel with a little bit of gold for the color. Then I have my Sephora pill box and you can get a pill box like this anywhere. I'm sure that they're fairly inexpensive on Amazon. This was fairly inexpensive at Sephora, but I was getting ready to travel. And it was kind of like the perfect size. So you have like a large open container, a uh, medium container, and then two small. So I keep my daily prescriptions down here because I have been through a couple of situations now where you go stay somewhere and you might have forgotten to pack your medicine, even though you could have sworn you packed it. And there are certain medications that you cannot go more than 24 hours without. So... Those are my medications. I have a sleep supplement. I have regular Excedrin, and then here's a mixture of regular Excedrin and sleepy Excedrin. But I do, I love this, because it's little and compact, it has everything I need, and I will keep it at all times. So I am gonna put that back in there, and I'm also gonna throw my gum in there as well. Those I just kind of like let dangle around. Same with this, it's so big. The Treat Beauty 
I mean, look at the difference between Treat Beauty and Fit Glow. Fit Glow is like a generous size. And you have to think like this entire thing is filled with chapstick, whereas, you know, this stops at least here. It is wild. Well, I guess the same could have, no, because this goes like all the way to like here in the cap. Anyway, it's a massive amount of product. It's 14 grams. It's a half ounce. <laughs> it is a whole half ounce of lip chat. That's going to go back in there. And then let's now go to this middle pocket. This is where things get kind of interesting. So I keep in this pocket four wallets and my AirPods holder. So I have an AirPod holder that hooks to a lanyard that can hook to your phone case. And this is also from Kate Spade. I got it 50% off. I just, I like to be able to have my tech kind of like rounded up, if you know what I mean. So the reason I have four wallets all from the same sale, actually, I'm obsessed. My phone case is this. I just think it's so cute. I also really love this print, but she didn't make a lot of things in it. Anyway, I have four because I am notorious for losing my credit card and my ID ever since I can remember. And th that sparked the whole reason of making the purchase of the purse and these wallets because I'm done with that. I, I just cannot. It is so inconvenient as an adult. So this is a card holder. It is one of those really thin ones. It has two card holders on each side and then the top opens up and you can put cash or whatever, more cards if you want. I lose them all the time because I really only use two cards and my ID and that's it. And I will take the cards and put them in my pocket. No more, this goes in my pocket. And I've been so good about this. What's good is I can like pop this as small as this is into that Athleta bag that I showed you. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it has what I need. That stays in my bag. So I'm gonna put that back in there. The second wallet that I have is what I would consider the next size up. It is also a card holder and then it has a coin purse. What I keep in here is the secondary cards that I use the most like debit cards because we're, we use credit cards more than debit cards, my Costco membership, health insurance cards, secondary cards that I might use more regularly than what I'm gonna show you next. The next one is the Slim Bifold from her and I need to stick this in here. This one literally just holds a ton of cards. It's got pockets on either side here. It has a coin purse, but if you wanna fit a ton of cards in, you're gonna be limited. This is for, like perfect example, I have a ton of Target gift cards from using Red Cart and all that, or whatever it's called. I have gift cards from Christmas, and then I have some store cards. Like, I haven't used my Ann Taylor Loft card in probably, like, four years. And I had it because I worked there. And we can, that can be a story time if you want. But I feel like I never know when I'm going to need these gift cards. I don't plan so far in advance of a shopping trip that I'm like, better go grab my gift cards. So I like to have them and keep them in here. And I would highly suggest this system if you lose. Then the last kind of wallety thing I have, I do keep this in my bag because if I'm going to switch these things out, it needs to happen around my bag so that I don't lose any of them. And it is a phone folio. But what I love about Kate Spades is you have two card holders right there, which if I'm going bare bones with just my phone, I'm probably only taking my ID and one card, maybe cash, but more than likely not but it has a phone case. And what I love about this is I don't have to keep it in this pad folio because I don't always wanna be flipping open to get into my phone. The case has a magnet in it and it just pops back in. I love it so much. It also has the magnetic closure, but if I am gonna go super bare bones, I'm trying to get into the habit of this. Like if that belt bag is too much, this. 
And like I said, I want to make sure that that's happening in my purse. So this is where we're at. We have emptied everything. I keep all of my wallets in this pocket. This pocket has a couple of random things and then we're gonna put everything back in that needs to stay. I have, again, a gift card. So I'm gonna put that in my wallet. This is a paint chip for my husband's office because I'm trying to figure out what we want to do. This is Debonair by Sherwin-Williams. It's beautiful, especially against the wood that's in our house. So I am gonna keep that in that pocket. I've got the Beauty Pie Wonder Gel Longwear Lip Liner. This is in the shade Vanilla Nude. It's a really nice nude lip liner, but it needs to go back in my collection. I typically just throw whatever lip I have in my bag for the day. I have this pen, which I got from Cloth and Paper subscription. It's a really nice pen. I always have a pen easily accessible in my purse. This goes with that gift card. And then another lip balm. You guys, I love lip products, you know this. I have the Clearly OP by Olivia Palermo lip balm. This is when I want a really blurred lip. One is for just function, that Treat Beauty, which I guess we'll put in that pocket. Then the Olivia Palermo and then the Fit Glow. So it looks like that. I'm going to repack my travel bag because I do like having this around it doesn't always live in my purse so i need to take out the things that i think should always live in my purse and we're going to do that so the noon always lives in my purse we're going to throw that in that side the body glide doesn't always live in my purse but i do want it at the ready so i'm going to put it in my travel bag same with the underwear and the makeup eraser same with the wet ones i used to be a pack everything in case of like I would always win those games you played at bridal and baby showers where you'd have a list and it would be like circle what's in your purse I always won those because I used to be like that no more hand screen I'm gonna throw in because I want that with me every day same with the what is this I keep forgetting fresh peaches I keep wanting to say peach slices fresh peaches I'm actually gonna put in that zippered pocket because privacy you know and I really only carry other phone and products when it's time, you know. I am going to reserve my wipes for travel. Same with my makeup wipe and my other body wipe. And same with my heating patch. These are incredible. Go check them out. My reusable straw I'm going to keep in here as well. And same with my glasses cleaner. I like to reserve those for travel like I said so this is always on standby in my closet for whenever I think I'm gonna need it and this is what my purse looks like I used to fill it to the brim because I thought I had to but I actually really like leaving that back pocket empty because then like when I go to the play and I get a playbill it's not going to be like crammed in there it can just easily sit in there I'm going to add my sunglasses and my eye drops. I forgot about this stuff. And I'm gonna throw boogie wipes in here because that's what I keep all of the time. I might put this as like, if this was your style, this would be a cute little bag charm. If I can get it on there, I can't get it on there, but that's my bag. And I love it so much. I'll link these down below if they're still available, but they were so heavily discounted. But as you can see, I put all of my kind of like hand sanitizer, eye drops, lips, and pen in this pocket. The peach wipes, or the peach, the, you know what I mean, the gel for your bum went in here. <laughs> this is empty. And then that front pocket is like gum and pills. Then I keep my wallets zippered because I'll be mad if you steal my lip chap, but not as mad as if you steal my cards. Yeah. But I hope that was fun. I'm glad I got that out of the way. I'm refreshed. And now it's time to clean this office because it's real crazy. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you love what's in my bag videos. 
that was a really chaotic approach to it. I think once I find the right pouch inserts, let me know. I would like a better quality. I mean, this is good quality and I like this for travel because of the size, but I need something slightly smaller and I would like it to kind of go with the theme of that rose print. So like black, pink, red, or cream. Let me know your favorite kind of pouches for your purse and I will see you in the next one. Have a good loving day. Bye.